Compass FM, North Canterbury's community radio station. It's time now to uh, welcome into the Compass FM studio via a telephone line from the seat of power in the Hidanui District, Mayor Marty Black. How are you, Mari? I'm very well, thank you, Kerry. Uh, gee whiz. It's been a busy week. It has been. And let's start with the yep. rain last weekend. Uh, drought conditions in Hidanui. Oh, look, significant rain again um, last weekend on the back of the weekend before, you know, so um, there was a little bit of road damage for the impacted, but, you know, I have to say the council team were out pretty smart to uh, keep our community safe and, you know, those sterling efforts are well recognised, so uh, it seems to be just the world we're in at the moment. Who would have thought we were going to get... 70 to 90 to 100 mils of rain in the middle of February. Quite incredible, really. Two years ago, you and I were discussing drought. Two years before that, <laughs> discussing drought. Um, it's good. That's a good good news story that we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, talking about other good news stories for um, Hiranui, uh, tourism spend in um, the Hiranui district has risen over the past year. and it's, uh, The story that I got um, says it's eclipsed pre-COVID levels. Um, despite the pandemic impact on the wider tourism sector. That's got to be good news for Hiranui. Yes, look, last year, certainly the Hiranui district did experience exceptional visitor spend. And, um, you know, that visitor economy is really important to our district. So um, we do welcome then and we welcome now. Um, You know, we're, uh, I have to say, probably it feels like a relatively safe district for people to visit because we haven't got large volumes of people in any one area. So, you know, we appreciated last year's significant spend, um, exceptional spend, a year ahead of the one before. So a rising commentary is always a good one. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, we want the confidence of people to come and visit, you know, what we have to offer from... uh, I guess we've got the beautiful hot pools in, in Hammer Springs, but we've got some fantastic wineries and everything in between, you know. So we would like to continue with an upward trend of our of our visitor um, economy. As we all would. It's interesting to note that 20% of holidaymakers traditionally into the Hiranui come from offshore. So that's, that's an interesting statistic itself, if you take those 20%, because we haven't had the um, visitors from overseas. Um, it, it certainly, uh, locals have cer- certainly stepped up. Uh, shall yeah, we say. Tradi- that's right. Traditionally, um, we've always been benefited by the domestic tourism market, you know, um, and those 20% that you talk about, internationals, I guess with the border opening, you know, and living with COVID confidence, um, we may see the return of some of that 20% to our district as well. So it's, uh, it's all about being safe and doing the right things because we still are in those sort of fickle times, aren't we, really? Absolutely, and a fickle time pretty much happened. Well, no, I mean, let's not, let's not over-dramatise that. Uh, th- <laughs> things changed at midnight uh, last night as well, uh, moving into phase two um, of uh, the, the response that we're doing to the Omicron. Phase two, things are slightly different. What is your advice to those in the Hiranui, um, Mayor Marty Black? Yeah, look, um, I mean, phase two does place a lot more responsibility on the individual. We are aware that there is certainly reduction time to self-isolation should you have COVID contact or COVID positive. Um, My advice for people would be develop a plan, you know, contact a buddy, um, perhaps someone that you can rely on to, you know, get your groceries, get your medical supplies, um, just to support you. And it could be a reciprocal arrangement in the event of um, positive cases coming to our district. So little, simple little measures like that that keep our community supported and safe is really, really important. So I guess the other thing is that, you know, we've got some wonderful people that provide support through our our food banks across the district. And uh, perhaps, you know, being aware of the locality of those um, food banks may also be helpful when, if in the event of a COVID positive reaction and uh, needing to self-manage in isolation, which is probably a little bit different to what many of us do in our daily lives. Mm, Absolutely. So the idea is to obviously be prepared. If you haven't got a plan, um, I, I hear you say, make a plan, get a plan together, and just keep it relatively simple because, let's face it, most of us lead a relatively simple life. Uh, We just need to, I don't know, find out where the food's coming from or how we can uh, ease a sore throat if um, if we we do get a a COVID symptom, that sort of thing. And, of course, we've got um, our wonderful, our five wonderful health um, services that are there by phone to provide the support to sort of help 
strategize for mm. people, you know. Mm. So um, they're very much an important step in the chain of protection. Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Mari. Uh, good, good advice and kind words too. Let's have another catch-up next Wednesday. And um, until then, you look after yourself. And, hey, we're counting down to the uh, pool opening in Amberley. Have you got your, <laughs> have you got your um, swimming costume ready for the, the bomb competition between you and I? Oh, look, I'm working on that, Kerry. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> we'll see you on the opening March 17. Is it March 17 or 19? I think it's... Oh, dude, uh, it's off. Well, I, perhaps I should tell you 17, but no, it's actually the 19th. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. Uh, until next week, Murray, you, you take care. We'll chat to you then, okay? Good on you. Have a great week, everybody. Compass FM. FM. FM.